Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I have a free model for you today. It's a blueberry model. Uh, Remco made this. It's also got a really nice texture that you can use. Um, but more specifically, I wanted to talk about a new feature in R18 called the push apart effector. And I thought this scene would be perfect to demonstrate it. So before uh, R18, we used to take objects and put them in a cloner and we put in a random effector, just kind of randomize them, but there would always be problems with intersecting geometry. And no matter how uh, much you play around with this random effector, how much you uh, push these different pieces apart from each other, it seems like you always struggled with intersecting geometry. And sometimes you'd put this in dynamics and have them explode out so that they're not touching, but it was just kind of a pain in the neck and uh, kind of slowed everything down. Well, with R18, they introduced the new push apart effector and it's an incredibly useful new effector. You just add that in and all of a sudden, no more intersecting geometry. There's just a few different options on here. It's really easy to use. So let's take this iterations down to one. So the more iterations you have, um, the higher quality uh, your scene will be and less likely to have intersections. And then you also have radius, which is how far apart from each clone it's gonna look. So just with a few little tweaks, um, you've already got a really nice setup here without intersecting blueberries and you're pretty much ready to go. And without the push apart effector, it would be really difficult to achieve this. So it's a really, really useful new feature. There's a couple other um, options under mode. You can just scale them apart on a certain axis. So if you wanted them all going up, you could do that. And then we also have scale apart, which is also going to scale down some of these uh, clones so that they're not intersecting. But if you just leave it at push apart, play with a couple extra iterations and mess with the radius, you should be all set to go. So that's the push apart effector, super useful. I can't imagine living without it now. So if you have R18, make sure you are using this in your workflow. And don't forget to grab this blueberry model in case you need it for anything. And as always, thank you for checking out the Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time.